Weather and traffic together, we head over to meteorologist Michelle Muscatel. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Steve. It's been a pretty comfortable stretch of weather so far this vacation week. We started off with the summer heat. Yesterday, it was back to more seasonable highs. And today, you know, kind of somewhere in between, I think we'll end up in the upper 60s to near 70 in spots. A severe drought. You know, we've been talking about this for weeks now. The rainfall since January 1st, only about six and a half inches of rain. The normal for this time of year, more than double that, almost 15 inches of rain is uh, what would be the average here through April, mid-April. Rain chances next couple of days remain pretty low for both today and tomorrow. We jump up to about a 50% chance Saturday day, about a 70 to 80% chance on Sunday. You know, if our computer models stay with the way that they're showing things right now, I think we will put a significant dent in the rainfall deficit. You know, some of our computer models show more than two inches of rain possible by early to middle of next week. It's a combination of rainfall over several days. The radar across Rhode Island and southeastern Mass showing just a few light sprinkles clipping the south coast overnight and early this morning. Those will move out and the skies will clear. 48 Providence right now, 46 Smithfield, about 50 in Westerly. City Cam showing the dry skies in the Providence area. A 48 degrees, your temperature winds out of the south southwest and the humidity at about 83 percent this morning mid 40s in Taunton New Bedford at about 47 degrees taking a look at the satellite and the radar as we combine them both you can see the back edge of the cloud cover now working its way towards western New England so while we're starting off a bit cloudy it's not going to last all day the sky should clear out we'll get back to sunshine and that's what I have in the forecast for the commute into work this morning with your sunrise coming up here at 559 by this afternoon upper 60s by three o'clock and about 65 at five this evening the Winds will pick up again today, and there's that elevated risk for fire spreading if any brush fires were to develop. So, again, another day where you got to use that caution in terms of doing outdoor burning and discarding cigarettes. At the coast this afternoon, temperatures in the low 60s in Newport, about 63. Charlestown, 64. Westerly have Coventry up to 69. Wickford at 67. And I'm thinking upper 60s to near 70 in Burrowville and Johnston. Cumberland at about 68. Comfortable, dry, and pleasant. And skies should turn mostly sunny for the afternoon hours in southeastern Mass. Upper 60s, Taunton, Fall River, and Seekonk, about 62 in Middletown. So those winds off the water will keep the coastline a little bit cooler. The bay today, south winds at 10 to 20 knots, waves at about a foot or two. The high tide at 7.30 this morning and a low tide at about 12.30 in the afternoon. Seven-day future cast. All right, so here's what we're looking at for the weekend. Saturday doesn't look like a washout. I think the best chance of seeing any showers on Saturday will come towards the evening and the night. And there may be a shower or two in the afternoon, but it doesn't look heavy. For Sunday, maybe a little bit of a low midday the way it's looking right now, but I still think a chance of off and on rain through Sunday. Monday looks like a soaker, highs in the mid-60s. We should start to see conditions dry out as we head towards